Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series of KT in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. In this video, we are going to discuss about adversarial search, right? So we have already discussed about so we already discussed about uninformed search, informed search, and all the types of algorithm in that. So you can watch those lectures. And now we are going to start with adversarial search. Okay. Okay, now let's discuss about the adversarial search. So, like up till now, we have discussed algorithm that needs to find an answer to a particular question, right? So, up till now, what we have discussed, we have this tree, right? Tree like structure, uh, state space, search space, right? And the starting point is my ending point G, and we are just trying to find out the path how to reach this particular goal, right? In the case of maze, maze example, also we have seen this my starting point, and we are just trying to find the path how to reach this particular point B. Okay. Now, in in this case of uninformed and informed search technique, we don't have our opponent. We don't have any other uh, player or agent playing against us. In the case of adversarial search, the algorithm faces an opponent that tries to achieve the opposite goal. Right. And often, AI that uses adversarial search is encountered in the game such as tic tac toe. So, why we are taking the example of tic tac toe? Because like many of the research has been done on this particular game. So that's why we are taking the example of this particular tic-tac-toe, right? So, in adversarial search, we examine the problems that arise when we try to plan ahead to get the best result in the world that includes a hostile agent, other agent planning against us, right? Like in the case of tic-tac-toe, right, here you can see, suppose I have made this move, right? I am playing this game. Suppose you are playing this game, this you versus AI agent is playing this game, right? Now, AI will play this move right like suppose for example this okay now your next move will be depends upon the AIS uh, next move right similarly AIS next move will be depends upon the your next move and you both are trying to reach a particular uh, state it's terminal state in this case because we want to try to achieve x x x or o o o right like this right uh, in a particular uh, line so like both of you are trying to reach a particular terminal state but your move your next move will depend on AS next move and AS next move will depend upon your next move, right? In the case of tic tac toe. So, this is what adversarial search is, okay? So, let's discuss the adversarial search problem. So, it's a competitive environment. Yes, it's a competitive environment in which goals of multiple agents, right, are in conflict. So, up till now, we have discussed about a single agent only, but here we have a multiple agent. So, please keep a note of this particular point. We use adversarial search algorithm in the case of competitive environment and where we have multiple agents, right? So, like question can be asked like which of the following search algorithms are used in the case of tic-tac-toe, right? So, uh, please, uh, we have to uh, see adversarial search algorithms only, right? Now, it's all deals with the game theory part. So, what is game theory? It's like there are multiple agents in the environment as a game, right? And provided that the impact of each agent or other is significant, right? You will is significant. It means that you will move. It means that your next move or whatever you are going to do, it depends on uh, your opponent uh, moves, right? So this is how a game theory works. So game playing is idealization of words in which hostile agent act as to diminish the one uh, one's well-being. So, like for example, in the tic-tac-toe game, if you are playing a game against AI. So, AI will try to win this game. You will also try to win this game. AI will try to win this game. It means that it will try to reduce your chances of winning. And you will also try to reduce its chances of winning. Right? So, it, so agents act as to diminish one's well-being. Right? This is what it says. Now, games problems are like a real-world problems. So, yeah, that's the case. Now, classic AI games. So, it should be deterministic. Uh, turn taking two players and perfect information. Right? So, what is classic AI games? We will see now. So, classic AI games are basically a state of games like easy to represent, which, right? So, agent usually restricted to fairly small number of uh, well defined actions. In the case of tic tac toe, uh, we have very limited number of actions that a particular agent can take. Opponent introduces uncertainty, yes, because our movement will depend upon the opponent's move, right? Games usually too much hard to solve. So, like classical AI games, like for example, uh, chess, right? So chess has a branching factor of 30 and it can often goes to 50 moves by each player. Right? So about there are 35 to the power 100 nodes. So the branching factor is such a large, right? So in this case, it will become complicated to find the optimal algorithm, right? 
Now, IBM has uh, done a significant work in this particular chase. Like IBM has created an algorithm for chess game, who has defeated world rank one chess player also. Now, we are not dealing with the games like which has the luck factor. Okay, for example, dice game, right? Dice. So it depends on the luck, right? So we are not dealing with those luck factors and all those things, right? So, like the game should be easily represented, right? So, this is the case of classical A algorithm. So, luck factor is not present there because it will introduce another uncertainty, right? Now, this is about the AI gameplay, right? So, AI gameplay is what it defines the optimal move and algorithm for finding it. So, for example, this is a tic tac toe game. So, AI, so AI should know how to play this particular game, right? What are the what is the terminal uh, state terminal statements when I will uh, finish this particular game when I will win this match when when my opponent will win this match so all those information uh, AI should know about this particular tic tac toe game right now there are few cases like ignore portions of search tree that uh, makes no difference to final choice that is basically a pruning so we'll discuss that also okay now there are different search techniques now there are different search techniques in the case of adversarial search. So, mostly we are focusing on minimax and alpha beta pruning. So, what is minimax? So, it determines the base move for max, observing max and opponent minimum and mini play perfectly. So, minimax is nothing but just two players, okay? Max and mini, okay? So, there are two players having name max and mini. Uh, max player is trying to increase his chances, maximize his chances of mini. Minimum is trying to minimize the chances of max, minimize the chances of max winning, right? So, max attempts to maximize its score, that right? it, it wants to increase the chances of winning and minimum attempts to minimize the max score. So, it wants to defeat the maximum, right? So, this is what uh, we are saying because we have seen that if uh, both will try to uh, win this game, but max will try to win the game, it means, it means that the chances of uh, winning of mean will be less. So, the same concept applies here that minimum, that mean attempts to mi minimize the maximum score, right? That's why we call it that that's why we call it as mini max algorithm now it decides base first uh, move for max right and serves as basic for analysis of games and algorithm okay now there are something called alpha beta pruning so uh, another technique just a modified version of mini max only so in this case we ignore some portion of search tree that tree uh, that makes no difference to final choice okay suppose we have this type of tic tac toe and like we have a search tree like this right for each move, we have a different uh, search tree, right? And in and if some cases we know, if I take this particular move, my chances of winning will be twenty percent. If I take this particular move, my chances of winning will be ninety percent. Now in that case, I will prune this particular all the step, right? All the uh, branch of a particular tree because I I know if I go by this particular choice, I am not going to win, so I will skip this particular branch. Okay, so that's it. We are so we'll discuss this part in detail. Don't worry about it in the alpha beta pruning part. So, yeah, that's it from this particular uh, intro to adversarial search technique. So, in the next video, we are going to discuss about minimax algorithm. Okay. Thank you.